Hello, I'm Dr. Andrew Kaczynski, and this is Plastic Surgery One-on-One. -on -one. Today's tutorial will be about Vaser High Def. This is a relatively new procedure that was developed in South America by a surgeon named Alfredo Hoyos, and he built on the previous 25 years of liposuction to create a technique that is the newest, best, and most effective way to sculpt the body. So let's go back a little bit and talk about liposuction. What is liposuction? Liposuction is a way to remove diet-resistant fat or genetic fat. It's done by making small incisions, then a certain amount of fluid with local anesthetic is put in, then what's called a cannula, which is basically a stainless steel straw, is put in attached to a vacuum. This pulls out the unwanted fat. When the skin over it heals up, the bumpy or lumpy area is gone. And that procedure was done for many years quite effectively. Vaser is an advance in the removal of this fat. It stands for a vibration and amplify. Uh, you don't want to know. Basically, it's ultrasonic energy that causes the wand to vibrate at such a fast level that it literally vibrates the fat cells loose. This makes the extraction of the fat much easier. The Vaser is actually a third generation ultrasonic machine and is essentially the perfection of that technique. So with Vaser, you can take out more fat, you can take it out more safely because there's less oozing and less bleeding involved. Which brings us to Vaser High Def. So what is Vaser High Def? Obviously it uses the Vaser technology. But what is different about it? Vaser High Def is a completely different approach to liposuction. First of all, it's an artistic approach to liposuction. What that means is in the past, liposuction was used to remove lumps and bumps, either in your abdomen or your outer thighs or your inner thighs. And it was wonderful to get rid of those lumpy areas. But it didn't create any kind of contour. Afterwards, the areas were flat. If you look at any of the great pieces of art and anatomy, you see that an attractive human body has contour to it. So regular liposuction wasn't creating contour. So with Vaser High Def, the first principle is using artistic anatomy. The second principle is using regular anatomy and knowing where the different areas of fat are both at the superficial and deep levels and removing them and sculpting them in such a way that you reveal the anatomy underneath. And then thirdly, it's the surgical technique of doing superficial vaser, mid-level vaser, and deep vaser, and then emptying those layers accordingly to create the artistic technique. So what does Vaser High Def do for men? Okay, as men age, they accumulate fat in certain areas and those areas are quite consistent. They're the love handle area, the abdomen area, and the chest area. That fat accumulation uh, has a lot of different causes, uh, aging, hormonal changes, and is very difficult to get rid of on your own. With liposuction, we can remove these areas, but you don't get the definition. So what does Vaser High Def do in terms of the front 
on a man. What it does is it creates pectoral definition by removing excess fat actually in the male breast area, but also across the armpit. And it creates the outline of the pectoral muscle, the big chest muscle. It also creates definition of the rectus muscle, which is the six-pack muscle. So you see the definition of the rectus muscle horizontally. You also see it vertically. It also creates definition in the lower abdomen by emphasizing the obliques, what I call the Abercrombie muscle, because that's what you see in all those ads all the time. By doing this, the Vaser High Def unveils the anatomy that's underneath. The anatomy is always there, it's just covered by a layer of fat. With traditional liposuction, doing liposuction in these areas would just make them smaller but wouldn't create the contour that you see in the Vaser High Def patient. On the back, men typically have love handles. What the Vaser High Def does is it's a very aggressive removal of these love handles and it allows the V contour of the back to be seen. So this is all done through two incisions in the back and probably one, two, three, four, five, six and seven incisions on the front. So remarkable results. For women, the emphasis is on different parts of the anatomy.